I look like shit because I feel like shit. I haven't showered. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. I'm not gonna not 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 gonna shower. Makes me sound dirty. But I was going to film a completely different video today. But it's raining. So you know what the lighting looks like. All this pale grey. Not ideal. I mean, it's not ideal for the video I wanted to do. Maybe I'll just film tomorrow. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow. But it can, it can still be used in a way. I'm trying to be creative here. What makes it more insulting is if it was going to rain, I don't want to see this weak ass dribble where it's puddles. No, if you're going to throw off my entire schedule, I want, I want it to pour. I want to see oceans. I want to see rivers. I want to see fish swimming near the apartment. I want to float. The fact that it's just cloudy with the tiniest bit of rain. I want to bomb the sky. It's my only source of lighting. I have these shitty lights, but they're shitty, so that's why this is my only source of lighting. What I can do is dependent on how it looks outside. So when it looks shitty, I just can't film. Anyways, what I find is that it's not rainy or cloudy in Texas often, like it still rains. It's not like how in California where rain is like a specialty for them. We know rain in Texas, but it's still inconvenient, which is crazy because I like rainy days. At least I like I do, cause like even oh god, am I talking about high school again? <sighs> even at school, I would have to walk back and forth between buildings, and it would be rainy. I wouldn't mind it, cause I had a windbreaker. Even then, rain is an aesthetic. Rain washes away rain clears but the ironic thing is rain can only do that when i'm inside no one actually likes rain everyone just likes watching it from the inside because everyone likes the sound of it and the mood it brings for some people it's sad for some people it's a somber mood it's like personally for me I find it like it's like one of those loafy videos on YouTube where it's like jazz music and rain in the background. That shit is my aesthetic. But outside of that, this shit is annoying. Like I think I have some of the worst experiences with rain. Cause I remember back in like an older apartment, and maybe even this one, but you didn't hear that from me. We'd, I would have like clean up leaks because the apartments were literally just shitty. But when it rained too much, I have to clean up leaks. And towels used to clean rainwater smell like literal shit. And then there's other moments where I would sometimes have to walk home from school. Rarely. But sometimes it would be raining. And I'm telling you, cars don't give a shit if you're a 7th grader walking home alone. No, they'll still splash you. You can be a 7th grader walking home alone with, with this project in his hand, you just got a good grade, everything's fine. You're walking home and it's raining, you're really kind of sad. But Tom from Walmart, he doesn't care. He's gonna speed up when he sees you because he wants to get home and drink beer and watch Monday Night Football. He does not give a shit, he's gonna splash you, laugh, and then go watch Dak Prescott the same night. I'm telling you, walking home after being splashed by a car is one of the most defeated feelings you can ever feel. Like if someone walked up to me and be like, do you want to commit a crime? I'm committing a crime. Anyways, you might be asking yourself, homebody, why don't you do homework or practice guitar? And those are good questions. However, I'm not doing homework because I hate school 
and I have new classes now. And they look harder than my last ones, so I'm avoiding those for as long as I can. And second, I have an allotted time for practicing guitar for two hours every second day. Currently, I am learning 505 by the Arctic Monkeys. It's going all right, I guess, but the point is I'm not doing any of those because currently I'm learning High Valyrian, the magic dragon people language from Game of Thrones. I'm learning Spanish as well, but I re-downloaded Duolingo recently and I was like, let me pick up Spanish, but then I saw High Valyrian as well. And I was like, why the hell not? I mean, I'm probably never ever going to speak to someone using High Valyrian unless I ever come across a House of the Dragon or Game of Thrones actor. No, it will never happen. I'm Mania Clark. I'm a Darcy. What's up? It's very simple compared to English. So if I wanted to say the mother is a knight, I would say Munya, which means mother. Azantis, knight. And Isa is basically he, she. So I would say Munya Azantis Isa. The mother is a knight. So basically it's like the title comes first and the action and then how you would address that person. He, she, they all, we all, like that. So you have the narrative, like iconic line where he, she, constantly, she constantly says this, I am the mother of dragons. Now, I don't know the plural for dragons, but I was like, okay, so th th this is how Munya Azantis Isa works. Then how would I am the mother of dragons work? So if you re rearrange it a bit, it, com it comes out of this. Okay, Zaldrias Munya Iksan basically means I am the dragon mother. Okay, and to, and to give you also more, Daor means no. But when you add Daor to the end of a sentence, it makes it a negative. So if I say Eidros Iksan, that means I am sleeping. But if I say Eidros Iksan Daor, that means I can't sleep. Jakaris! See, I literally just need to dye my hair white and then get purple eye contacts. Jon Snow couldn't handle, he was weak. He wasn't committed. Me? Daenerys, me, we, we literally burned seeds together like this. She's the mother of dragons. Seldria Skepi Iksan. Let's burn shit together, like come on. I've been doing this for the past hour. It usually only takes like 40 minutes to an hour. However, it's taking longer because I haven't done it in a while. Either way, I usually pick it out first, wash it, pick it out again, leave a conditioner, oil, done, repeat the whole process two or three weeks later. I know in my older videos, I'm always like, I'm gonna style my hair. I wish I could style my hair. I have tried. I'm not a liar. It kept whooshing back into each other. I just gave up. And it was like, wasn't even planned. It was like a spree of moment thing. Like, like, I'm gonna do my hair. I tried parting it for about 30 minutes, gave up. And I was like, okay, I'll just pay somebody to do it. These people are charging over a hundred to twist hair. To twist hair. Who said you're worth 100? I didn't say you're worth 100. Anyways, hear this. Yeah, that is the sound of hair being ripped out. But it sounds pleasing, doesn't it? If I was self-exploitative enough, I could have been an ASMR channel. Just pick my hair and get what, a million views? See, personally, I would rock an afro, but that requires maintaining even I don't want to do. Like, I like big hair. I think I look best when I have big hair. Me and big hair are like this. Like, imagine that the pre-shampoo's not there. It literally just matches. The only issue, which personally I don't see as an issue, but everyone else sees as an issue, is getting an edge up. 
But personally, why would I get an edge up just for it to grow back five weeks later? And why would I pay $25 just to have what? two centimeters of hair chopped off on the edges it's a waste of money release yourself from the shackles of haircuts we can all have long hair there's no law saying we can't all have long hair until these prices go down my hair is going up get it not everyone can rock an afro and that that sucks for some of y'all truly my heart goes out anyways it's not raining anymore as you can tell from the non-shitty lighting mm, no that's all i have to say goodbye